Hey everyone, Mike Mulligan here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am a certified orientation and mobility specialist. And today for my tip of the day, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to fix a rollerball tip that is no longer spinning properly. Let's do this. So for those of you who use a rollerball tip, you might realize that after a while, the cane tip stops rolling as well as it used to when it was brand new. And the real reason for that is debris starts to get stuck in the cane tip between where the ball and the white kind of cap part of the cane tip meet uh, where the spinning action occurs. So debris just over time, the more the cane is used, uh, things get stuck in there. A lot of times it's dirt and another common one is hair. And eventually that debris buildup will make it harder and harder for the cane tip to roll properly. So now I'd like to show you a few easy ways to help remove that debris uh, to make your cane tip last a little longer. Um, but eventually, cane tips do need to be replaced, so there's always that option if you feel like uh, trying to get unstuck is not working for you. But this can help make the cane tip last just a little bit longer. So in front of me here, I have a rollerball cane tip, and in between the ball and the cap part of the cane tip, there's about, um, I don't know, half a centimeter gap. And this half centimeter gap is where the debris builds up. So you want an instrument or an object that is small enough to fit within that uh, little crack to dislodge the debris in there. So what I like to use a lot is scissors. So if I use scissors, I can fit it all the way in and kind of scrape out whatever debris is in there. Uh, the cane tip I have here doesn't really have much debris in it right now, but uh, for if your cane tip does, you can scrape it out with scissors. And another reason I like to use scissors is because a lot of times it's hair that gets stuck in there uh, that stops the ball from spinning properly. So scissors, you can even snip a little bit of that hair uh, to get it out and scrape it out. So depending on how much debris is in there, this process can take a little while. Um, and if you're a little squirmish or you don't feel like touching dirty things, uh, you can wear gloves or last resort, you can just buy another cane tip. But that's just one way of helping to dislodge uh, the debris that gets stuck on a rollerball cane tip. So now I'm gonna show you another way of removing some of the debris uh, from a rollerball cane tip. This way is not as efficient or effective as the one I just showed you, uh, but this can be helpful, especially when someone's on the go and they don't have time to stop and clean out the cane tip. And that is to uh, sweep the cane tip or roll the cane tip on the ground left and right relatively fast. And if you do this with some force and um, some speed, that sometimes helps to dislodge a little bit of the debris that is stuck in there. Uh, it doesn't always work that well, but it might help enough until you get the chance to do the first tip that I just previously showed you. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this tip of the day was helpful in learning how to remove the debris from a rollerball cane tip. And if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel here and click that little bell icon. Uh, that way you'll be alerted when new videos become available. And have a wonderful day.